What is up, everybody? Josh here again, and today we have an Icarus Week 84 update. This week they've added three new tables, one new chair, two new lights, and a shelf. And it's all carved wood. Seven new items into the game for you to build and craft on your prospects. They also made some changes to the camera mode, and we have some future notes. Let's get into it, shall we? Icarus Week 84 carved wood decorations number two. We get six... I'm sorry, seven new items to craft in your base with the carved wood set. And there's also some photo mode tweaks and improvements. They also mentioned why the update is about a day early and mentioned that Friday for them in New Zealand is used to celebrate Matariki, which is a Maori New Year. And they just say enjoy this week's update while they enjoy their holiday weekend. And in this major update, we have three new tables, the round table, the six-seater dining table, and the ten-seater dining table. They also include the carved wood dining chair for you to craft and adorn your dining suit with. They also have the carved wood shelf, along with the carved wood candle and carved wood disc lamp. And they wanted to mention that their art team is always working on new assets and items to personalize your Icarus experience. So suggest any items or designs you'd like to decorate your base in the comments. So to start with, we're going to mention that you have to have cardwood furniture unlocked to make cardwood furniture. Pretty sure that all the new items are locked behind that. Then you're going to go ahead and head over to your carpentry bench and you're going to see the new items. The cardwood round table, cardwood table, the cardwood large table, the cardwood chair, the cardwood wall shelf. You also have the carved wood desk lamp, which requires 150 power, and the carved wood candlestick. And those are all the seven new items. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And you'll craft them all in the bench here. Now also keep in mind that the carved wood desk lamp does require electronics and glass to actually be crafted as well. We're gonna go ahead and show you each one of these items as soon as the storm finishes. So the first thing we're gonna show you is the new lamp, the carved wood lamp. And it does run off of electricity. It requires 150 electricity for it to run, as you can see right there. And you do have to wire it up with a wire tool. So it does wire up like other items with the wire tool. Next item I'm going to show you is the carved wood candle. And, and that is what it looks like right there. And the lamp as well, whenever it's turned off. And the carved wood candlestick, uh, it runs off of animal fat, of course. But a full stack will last for about five hours. Next up, we have the carved wood round table. And that is a new carved wood table made in the carpentry bench. And this is what it looks like. Not a bad looking little table there. For sure. And of course, we got the carved wood chair. And this is what it looks like. Got a few of them here, here. And you can sit in these. This is a new chair that you can sit in, so. Just press E to get into the chair and press E to get out. And this is the new carved wood dining table. I think you could put about six chairs around there. Not a bad little looking table with some chairs around it. And here we have the carved wood large table. And that is quite a large table. Doesn't look too bad with chairs either. And geode lamps. And of course, who could forget the carved wood wall shelf? which we sort of have a lamp hanging off of. And that's what it looks like. And that's all the new items. They also had some changes to photo mode this week and photo mode has received a pass of new features and improvements to make timing the perfect snap even easier. The most impressive improvement this week is the increased tether distance to allow players a bit more width in depth when taking photos of their character model. Alongside this, they've also changed the photo mode parameters so that most of them can now be manually set outside the standard slider range and added the ability to change the movement speed of the camera smoothly while in motion. 
They're keen to see our best photos, so make sure you keep sharing them to Steam, Discord, and on socials. And of course, you can access photo mode with numpad 7 or set it to any key you choose in settings. So we're going to go ahead and bring up camera mode here and hit our default button. And you can see now that you can zoom out a ton. You used to zoom out maybe, maybe about like maybe right here or something like that. Now watch how far this goes out. Wow, look at that. Look at that. You can go out so much further now. And if you hit left alt by default, you can now see there are a few things that you can go through and change. You can change your move speed and acceleration, maintain height. There's a lot of things that you can actually go through and change. Some, some are new, some are old. So this is going to be a really cool tool to take some really nice screenshots. And they ask for all your screenshots. So once you hit left alt, just check out all the new settings that you can play with. There's a few of them. Maturiki. You may notice that we have pushed our weekly update patch a day early. As tomorrow in New Zealand, they are celebrating Maturiki, which is a public holiday that falls on an unusual patch day. Traditionally, Maturiki has a time to acknowledge the dead and release their spirits to become stars. It is also a time to reflect and be thankful to the gods for the harvest, to feast, and to share a bounty of the harvest with family and friends. So that is why the update was a day early. And they used a picture we've never seen before. Change luck. And the new content section this week. Well, we pretty much explained all the new content, guys. It was seven new items and a, a change to the cameras. We're going to go ahead and move over to the fix section this week. It's a very, very tiny fix section, but one really, really nice improvement. If you ask me the very first one here, put light items into the light slot by default. Thank you, Jesus. So once you craft some kind of light source, like a rag torch or a wood torch, they'll go straight into your light slot now. And that also means that if you drop it and then pick it up, they'll go straight into your bar. Same thing for like lanterns and whatnot. Go straight to your light bar. But if you have an inventory or something like that and you hit control left click, it just goes into your inventory. It's not going straight into your light slot. I mean, other than that, you pretty much, when you pick up your dead bodies and stuff like that, it should go back to your light slot now. And of course, if you pick it up off the ground or craft it in your inventory, in your inventory, I don't know what that was, but <laughs> it'll go straight to your your light slot which is pretty cool it's a nice uh, advancement i can understand that they don't want water doing that especially in, like in arctic biomes and whatnot and the oxygen as well i don't know what do you think i really think that most of your stuff should go back to your body once you die anyway exactly where it was that would be pretty neat they also mentioned that they hooked up translated text for storm coming prompt on weather timeline that's pretty much it for the fix section. Let's check out future content section. There's a big section this week. And of course, if you've been in our Discord before, you know what a road is, but they are mentioning the creatures types and stuff, damages, bonuses to bestiary, and also they are missing entities for creature type tables split out existing variants where it made sense. And that was Komodos, Roats, and Bluebacks. So they added those to the new DLC. Looks like they added the icons for cold steel tools, weapons, and projectiles. And looks like they're messing around a little bit more with bricks. Looks like we have an icon for the alien conch and pottery. And looks like Daisy is no longer a buffalo. Mentioning the iron wood tool set. And they added the names for the Prometheus fish. Adding blue steel pickaxe and axe layers and additions and balance against other axes. Fixed steel knife throw pointing to spear audio update grasslands biome effects increasing the color and opacity of the fog while reducing the post-processing effect resulting in close objects appearing close to their original color with minimal impact to the biome's overall palette now that would be fun something to add to the game <laughs> or mod add a dev only option to disable photo mode tethering entirely <laughs> Ooh, looks like we're gonna have some sulfur pulls Add AOE damage aura for sulfur pools. 
Looks like they might be working on three standard and three wall mounted signs for rustic decorative here, including DMs. I think they added creature images for bestiary. And it looks like the T4 communicator now requires an active power connection to work. Here's some interesting tidbit here about the Lava Hunter. Instead of breaking to lay a single egg before attacking again, Lava Hunter now lays several eggs in succession with the number of eggs scaling with nearby player count. Adding first layer of slug footprints and swamp slug idle audio sounds. Yep, for sure. Adding in Swamp Slug to Swamp Spawn list. So we're going to have a Swamp Slug. Okay, this is huge, if it's what I think it is. Adding in Gas Flyer Skeletal Mesh. Also, second variation of the material for use in the Swamp and Grasslands. Gas Flyer? It says setting up the bones for a Plains Equix. I think Equix. An engine. That's interesting. It does get all the cool toys. They just keep talking about the new animals, the blue back and the new slug. That's audio. Adding new functions to storms so they can damage players armor and inventory items if required. You've heard of fog, but have you heard of acid fog? Updating names of red backs, arid strikers and ashen drakes to match throughout bestiary creature type and carcasses. I don't even know how to pronounce these. Uh, it says updating Chalala, <laughs> this good, I'm going to guess, and arid blueback names. Probably just murdered those. So the Chala, C-H-A-L-A. -A. Well, here's the first mention of where the road's going to be. It's in the swamp. And that really looks like that's it for this week, guys. That's a huge future content. They're working on a lot of mobs, working on a lot of the building stuff, working on a lot of Prometheus, it looks like. Thank you so much to the Late Night Crew, KHX, Wolfie, Sergio, Sandy, Silver, and John, who's new. Thank you so much for being part of the Late Night Crew and for supporting the channel. You guys rock. Uh -huh. Hey. You rock. And guys, that's it for this video. Don't forget, if you like what you see, to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Subscribing to the channel will get you weekly Icarus update videos just like this one and content videos when we release those. Also, don't forget to share this video with your friends and family, anybody who may be interested in our content. And hopefully, we'll see you next time. Peace.